I can actually pre-create breakout rooms before a team's meeting. So if I click into a team's meeting, along the top, there will be a breakout rooms tab, which I click into, and then I get to create my rooms. I get to choose how many, all the way up to 50. I'm just gonna stick with two today. Creates the rooms, takes a second, of course. When I have the rooms, I can click the three dots at the top right of any given one to say rename it or change the meet room options. These would be the same as the meeting options. In fact, I'll bring those in. You may remember our meeting options from a different video. Likely, I want my students to have a lot of permissions in the breakout room because that way they can truly collaborate, but you could play around with what they can do here. I could, of course, delete the meeting as well, but more likely what I need to do is assign participants. If I click that button, I will get to either automatically assign people or manually. In my case, I don't have many people in this fake team, so I'm gonna to choose to manually do it, and I could then assign a participant. I can choose, I want them in room one, or if I selected multiple people, I could then select what room to put all of them in at once, and let's say put this person into room one great i've created that one room and you would just do that for as many rooms and as many participants as you want it is worth noting i can add more rooms or delete them with the plus and garbage can icons at the top and as always i have a sprockety gear symbol for settings and you might want to play around with this because maybe you want a ta to be able to help manage your rooms as long as they were added as a co-organizer to the meeting options i should be able to find them and add them in my case i don't have anyone oh actually they've already been added as a participant that's the problem so go to your meeting options add them as an co-organizer and they would show up as a presenter so they could help with managing these. I could set a time limit if I want to. I personally prefer to automatically move people rather than have them move themselves when I start the room. And finally, I also like allowing people to come back to the main room. That way, if something's going wrong, they can come get me and get help. Once I click save, that's set up. And it is worth noting that if this is a recurring meeting, so a meeting you set up for the entire term, these breakout rooms would stay there for the entire term. So you could keep reusing them, say, for group projects. Of course, it does mean if you want to change the groups, you would have to come back and edit them between your meetings to have these pre-created breakout rooms change.